Welcome to Backend Web Development Using Go, a video course from PACT that's part of the Web Programming with Go series. This is the second course in a series of four courses that will guide you on your way to becoming a full-stack Go developer. My name is Kamesh Balasubramanian. I'm the founder and CEO of Wirecog, which happens to be a Go shop. I'm also a patented inventor and a published author. I have over 20 years of full-stack web development experience. I've created award-winning, high-profile web applications for Disney, ESPN, and ABC. I've also delivered talks at MIT, GopherCon India, and the World Maker Fair. In this video course, I will teach you fundamental back-end web development concepts using Go. To make the learning process more fun and immersive, we will continue to develop GopherFace, the social media web application that we started in the Go Essentials for Full Stack Web Development video course. In Section 1, Templates, I will provide you with an introduction to web templates and I will teach you how to build and render a custom web template. In Section 2, Managing Requests and Responses, I will introduce you to the Model View Controller pattern. I will also show you how to register routes and associate handler functions for them using the Gorilla Mux package. In Section 3, Forms, I will teach you how to build a web form. I will show you how we can validate web forms. I will demonstrate a cross-site scripting attack. We will implement a status update feature for GopherFace, which includes allowing the user to use emojis to express themselves. In Section 4, File Uploads, I will teach you the ingredients needed to perform a file upload using Go. I will show you how to upload an image file and dynamically produce a thumbnail image from it. In addition to that, I will also teach you how to upload a video file and dynamically produce a thumbnail image by extracting a video frame from the video file. In Section 5, Data Stores, we introduce data persistence into our web application. I will provide you with an introduction to three of the most widely used databases, MySQL, MongoDB, and Redis. I will show you how to run all three of these databases using Docker. And I will teach you how to implement a data store in Go for all three of these databases. We will learn how to persist the information from the GopherFace signup form to the database and verify that the data was saved to the database. In Section 6, Authenticated Sessions, I will show you how to properly create a self-signed developer certificate and run a TLS web server instance using Go. I will show you how to verify the login credentials of GopherFace users. I will show you how to create a secure cookie and a user session. We'll finish off the section by showing you how to implement authentication middleware. In Section 7, Asynchronous Task Queue, I will show you how to implement our very own asynchronous task queue using Go's concurrency constructs. As far as prerequisites go, you will need to have an existing knowledge of fundamental Go concepts. I highly recommend that you take the Go Essentials for Full Stack Web Development video course if you haven't done so already. If you have any feedback for the course, feel free to reach out to me at my website, 
www.kamesh.com. Welcome again, and I hope you enjoy the course.